Hey guys, this is Faith from Face World Media, and I just received some beautiful assets here at Tower Hill Botanic Garden, based in West Boylston in Massachusetts. There are over 300,000 visitors each year, and my mom, Xiang Li, is going to have her solo exhibit there, showcasing over 200 Chinese empresses painted on silk. As a collaboration, I'm going to use these photos and then Adobe Express to create, hopefully, some stunning images and cards and layouts that other people can easily repurpose and use. So basically what I'm trying to do is turn my design into some of these templates. So what I did was first within Adobe Express, you can choose what you want to create. It could be images, videos, cards, you name it. There are also a lot of Gen AI features, but here I just want to keep things simple like cards because I can also print them directly through Adobe Express. So five by seven is pretty standard. If you don't know what you're doing and you want to do something super unique, you can even generate these templates. So let's just give it a shot. Cards for Botanic Garden. And it's going to take just a few seconds to think through everything. As you can see, it's really cool. What I like about these results, for example, if I'm using the first one here and I can go back, I also kind of like this one on the right. And this will allow me to easily drop in images that you just saw. Cool. So here I can add some of my messages. I can even add the address if I want to. Next, I'm going to go to upload on the left hand side here and then flowers for Faye. All right, look at the greens. I think those going to look so stunning, honestly. I like the flower. I like all of them. So I'm going to at least eliminate some of the landscape ones and I'll just play with the verticals for now. And now we're left with just one image, which you can see like just how concise you can make it to be like literally have it safe right in the middle. And then here I can bring it up a little bit, just have the white line come through. I think it looks really gorgeous. And then even has the copy up, down. You can even basically input like a code, like a discount code if you want. Here I can say New England Botanic Garden at Tower Hill. Design is done. It's gorgeous. All right. So once that's done, and let's say you want to create another one, all you have to do is simply add another page. The lower right hand corner, you can do same page and now we can drop in this design here add as a page so under media let's go ahead and look at some of the images all right i like this purple flower here and i can just simply can you delete the one in the back but you don't have to this way and here if i look at this flower and i'm thinking maybe i want to use the purple from the flower down here so if you want to pick a custom color for example, if I want to change the background into purple or some shade of green, I can click on background color here and use a color swatch right there. And you see it just changes everything. And now it even recommends different shades of purple for you to choose something. And if this is now looking too dark, if the text looking too dark, what you can do is further change that color as well. All right, so let's change the color into something a little brighter. Like, so you can select the text, change into the brighter color. By the way, anytime you want to get some things printed, what you can do is click on this little print icon. It looks like a cart as well. And here you can say what you want to get printed and there are different sizes. This is a five by seven card. You can see right here and it shows you the prices and you can have different choices of landscape versus vertical sizes. And down here, you can also have invitation cards that are not folded. These are actually a little bit cheaper, as you can see, and it's going to be printed by Zazzle. So that's basically what I typically do when I try to use Adobe Express's Gen AI features to generate templates. And it's worth noting that you can also upload an image in some cases if you want to create even more on brand assets. The trick from what I have learned in the past couple of years of using Adobe Express's Gen AI is to explore. You really don't want to give up too early, too soon, and just remember to have fun with it. So you hope you find this helpful. If you do, please give this an upvote, share with a friend or a colleague, and I'm going to see you in the next video.